Hey guys. So as I'm sure you can tell, I was not planning on filming a video today. I have no makeup on my face, obviously. My hair is hella greasy, and I'm still wearing my gym clothes from about 12 hours ago. Clearly not planning on filming a video today, but my husband is out with his boys tonight. It's a Friday night, and I'm here by myself, so what else was I gonna do but take Instagram pics? And then something tragic happened. So I know what you're thinking. Oh no, your champagne pop roll. Yeah, obviously, but uh, little did you know, my rose spritz also took a, took a beating. It's in maybe about two pieces, but the entire powder popped out of its pan and landed on the ground. So that one's not gonna be as difficult to fix. This puppy shattered. There's some dog hair in here, cause you, You bet your booty I was on my hands and knees, crawling on the ground, scraping up every last particle of this highlight. Except for maybe this one, I'll throw this one away. So I thought maybe my Friday night tragedy could maybe help you guys out, maybe teach you something. If you don't already know how to fix powder products, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it. You know what sucks? Champagne Pop is my favorite highlighter in this palette because this is Prosecco Pop and this is too dark for my skin tone. I don't even wear this. I don't even wear this. Why couldn't this one break? <laughs> so really all you're gonna need to do this is some rubbing alcohol and some paper towel and maybe like a spoon and probably a coin of some sort of quarter depending on how big your pan size is. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the flip side of my spoon and sort of mash up the remaining particles of this highlight just to make it all nice and fine so that I can pack it together nicely. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit, be very careful, of my rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna pour it into the pan. Now this is where I messed up. I used way, way, way too much. You do not need anywhere near that much. Then I'm gonna take my quarter and just sort of wrap it in my paper towel and then I'm gonna use that to sort of press all of the product down into the pan back where it goes. Then I'm just gonna take the flip side of my spoon once again and sort of mix it around because like I said, I used way too much alcohol. So there were some parts of the product that were really super saturated and some that were still super powdery and didn't really have any alcohol in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up and then I'll take my quarter again and pack it all together down into the pan. And then for my rose spritz, I just took a little, little bit of alcohol and just plopped it right on top. I'm not going to mash this one up or anything because I didn't want to break it more than it already was because it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. So I just put a little bit of alcohol on there and then packed it down with my quarter once again and just called it good. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and set the palettes aside to dry overnight. I used way too stinking much alcohol, so I'm probably gonna have to wait even longer than just overnight. In my experience, it's very important to keep the palette open so that it dries out, obviously, like, duh, because the alcohol needs to evaporate. For the first time I ever tried this trick, it was just with a face powder, and as soon as I was done, I closed the compact and like put it back in my drawer, and it did not work like it was supposed to. So since then, I've been leaving the palette or compact or whatever open. So yeah, just go ahead and leave that overnight and it should be good to go in the morning unless you used as much alcohol as I did then you might have to wait a little bit longer That completes this video. I really hope that it was helpful to you guys. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. Sorry this video was so random and not very planned out at all. And sorry I look atrocious with a planet growing on my chin. Sorry about all that, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine and I will see you guys next time.